you. What up? Welcome to my channel or welcome back. I'm Mariam. In today's video, I am going to be swatching the new Jaclyn Cosmetics Pout Spoken Liquid Lipsticks plus the lip liners that Jaclyn Hill just launched. And I am going to be testing out all these different colors on my lips. I'm going to be giving you all the scoop, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Team Truth style as always and per usual. Of course, a verdict at the end. I'm also going to see whether these are in fact non-transferable liquid lipsticks, whether they are mask friendly, and whether they are worth the money, honey. If you are here for this lip swatches video, subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. Hit that notification bell so you can see all of my Wednesdays and Sundays videos. Because, yo, I swatched all these liquid lipsticks and lip liners for you guys, and my lips are still intact. Okay? All for you. Let's hit it. So let's get into these Jaclyn Cosmetics Pout Spoken Liquid Lipsticks and Lip Liners. So we have 15 liquid lipsticks, 12 lip liners. These are not matching lip liners and lipsticks. They're supposed to be coordinating rather than matching. Now the lip liners retail for $18 each, whereas the Pout Spoken Liquid Lipsticks are $20 each. Some of these liquid lipstick shades are apparently inspired by Jaclyn's original lipstick launch from a couple years ago that unfortunately didn't go so well, but I have really high hopes for these liquid lipsticks. I am just generally a fan of the liquid lipstick formula. I like the fact that it's matte and non-transferable, which is perfect for us at the current state of the situation, if you know what I mean. It's mask friendly, it's kiss friendly, so all of that is kind of like up my alley. I know we've been shifting away from liquid lipsticks, but not me personally. I'm just a huge fan of that type of formulation. I love the fact that it dries down matte and it just looks kind of flattering on the lips, in my opinion. These just launched on JaclynCosmetics.com, but they will be coming to Ulta, although not all the shades. So today I'm gonna to be swatching all the shades. I'm breaking up this video into two segments, filming them on two different days so that my lips don't fall off because they might just fall off. These are liquid lipsticks and it's gonna be hard for me to you know apply and then remove and then apply and then remove 15 times plus the lip liners that's a lot now we're also going to be talking about the shade range of these lipsticks i am going to pop up the swatches that i did of just the lipsticks on my arm this is just a quick little boomerang you can pause if you want to see all the shades i filmed this in natural light so no flash and for your reference also here are the lip liner swatches again not matching just coordinating. All right, so essentially I am ready to begin swatching lip liner number one in the back of my hand. This one is called Blondie. This is honestly very, very light, probably lighter than my actual lip color. And it also has a hint of shimmer. Mm, cute, like petal, peachy, pinky, nude. I like it. All right, next we have Nudie liquid lip. There is a cat hair in this liquid lip stick but that is totally my fault because I did swatch these and I swatched them on my carpet where my cats hang out. So here is Nudie on the back of my hand. This honestly looks like a very light concealer. So probably not a shade that would work for me, but let's see. <laughs> okay. Okay, not a shade for me. <laughs> this is so funny. Hey girl. Mm. Let me take a darker lip liner. Let's see if I can make something happen with this. I'm just gonna grab this shade here called Toasty. And before this first liquid lip gets a chance to dry down all the way, let me just darken it a pinch. I mean, I don't know. Slight 90s chola vibes over here, but you get the idea. Basically, this color is a very pale nude. Probably not for me, but would definitely work well for someone who is very, very fair, but definitely want to create some characters with all these lippies. So let's do it. Okay, obviously not a color that I can wear. So I'm going to go ahead and remove for liquid lipsticks. I like to use something that's kind of oily and greasy to remove it from my lips. I just saturate a cotton ball and then just gently remove the color. Oh girl, it ain't going nowhere. I'm going to need something greasier. Hold on. Magic. Now the Bifacil from Lancome is actually meant for waterproof mascara, but I like to use it to remove liquid lipsticks that are non-transferable, such as this one. It seems to do the job. Next up, we have Chai Tea Liner. This is a really pretty color. Also on the very light side, kind of like a peachy nude. 
But I like the fact that the lip liners are very creamy, so you could easily wear this as a standalone lip color. All right, so next I'm gonna pick up Get Real Pout Spoken Liquid Lip. That actually looks like a pretty good match between a lip liner and a liquid lip. This color I can definitely wear, and it looks very, very pretty on me. Just like a very light, peachy nude. I like it on me, but I would probably go for a slightly darker lip liner again, just to give my lips a little bit more definition, to make them a little bit more pouty. But with this liner, this is what it looks like. You know what? I'm gonna grab this butter pecan lip liner. Just go over the edges a little bit to darken them a pinch. And that on me looks so much better already. Time to remove. Ooh, girl, already needing some chapstick. Next up, we have coffee cake lip liner. Gorgeous, gorgeous shade. We're getting somewhere with this lip liner. I like the shade a lot. This is more up my alley, the kind of lip liners and just like lip colors that I generally reach for. Again, something that can be worn alone. Quite a pretty color. I love that one. Next up, we have Oh Hi. Oh Hi. Oh Hi looks very pink and very cool next to this lip liner. Sure, I might have just committed a little blunder. Perhaps I didn't mean to put Oh Hi over this coffee cake. All right, but let's just go for it. Oh boy. This is looking very, <laughs> very sketchy on me. Also keep in mind, these liquid lipsticks are pretty pigmented, so you can easily cover up the lip liner. If you want the lip liner to actually darken the lipstick, you have to go over the lipstick before it gets a chance to set. So kind of quickly. Mm, yeah, not my color. Definitely not something that I would ever reach for. But damn it, I like this name, oh hi. All right, I'm gonna grab this coffee cake lip liner yet again. I'm gonna attempt to blend out this harsh line, create more of an ombre situation. Mm. Mm, yeah, again, just not an undertone that would suit my skin tone, but definitely this would be something great for someone who is much lighter than me. Perhaps if you are a cool undertone and if you're looking for a matching sort of nude lip, this would probably work well for someone like that. On me, it looks very baby pink, but weird because I use the dark lip liner. Let's create some funky faces. Ooh. You like me? I like you. Time to remove. All right, next up we have Butter Pecan Lip Liner. I'm gonna try it by itself first. This is a great liner. Mm, great by itself. And now let's test out the fourth liquid lip shade, which is called Empowered. This was another fairly light shade. I'm not sure if it'll work on me, but looks like it's a warmer undertone, so let's see. Pretty, but a little too close to my skin tone. I would need something just a little bit darker so I don't look like I don't have any lips at all. But while this shade is drying, let me just add a little bit more of that butter pecan. Definitely better with the lip liner. So now keep in mind, a lot of these shades are not shades that I personally can wear alone. I would need a darker lip liner to make it work with my skin tone, just like my complexion. Otherwise, if worn alone, they would just completely look bizarre or they would wash me out or it would just look like I have no mouth at all. And I already have small lips. I'm not trying to make them disappear off my face altogether. That would not be cute, would it? But if you are lighter than me, if you are much lighter than me, then all of these shades that I just swatched are absolutely for you. Although this one I would wear. This is cute. All right, let's remove. Next up, we have the Macaron, Macaroon, but spelled the French way, so Macaron lip liner. This one looks very, very pinky to me. And just judging from my arm swatches, I feel like these middle shades in the middle of that range, they all lean very pinky, peachy, not necessarily nude. They fall in the neutral category, but they're not those skin tones that we're used to associating with nude shades. Oh my, this is actually a shimmery pink lip liner. I'm not a fan of those, quite frankly. I think those only look good on like really flat lips or really, really full lips. But anything with like a curvature like mine, it's just not flattering on me. So I never really reach for these types of colors or rather finishes. Yeah, this is like literally metallic. Next shade we're gonna swatch from the Pout Spoken Liquid Lippies is Confidence. This is very pretty, like a medium, pinky, peachy, nudie shade. I wouldn't wear it with this lip liner though, but since I already have it on, I might as well apply it over. 
This is a really pretty shade actually. And I think this is the first shade that I can actually wear without a lip liner, meaning that it doesn't blend into my skin, it looks good against my skin, I think it's flattering on my skin, and I really like it. Confidence. All right, so this will be the first shade that I'm going to let set completely, and then I'm gonna see if it transfers. I'm also gonna see how long it takes to actually set. So far, these don't feel uncomfortable on the lips. They feel just like any liquid lipstick that you're used to from Anastasia Beverly Hills. My favorite were definitely the Stila ones and the Pixie ones over say the ColourPop ones and the ABH ones. But the ABH formula was definitely not bad. And this one I will say definitely reminds me of that one. It also reminds me of the Morphe liquid lipsticks as well. We are still waiting for this liquid lip to set. So see, the reason why we want to wait until the liquid lipstick has fully set itself is so that we don't actually press our lips together and remove some of the color. I just did that test and it seems like it's not the case with this one. So the formula is pretty flexible. You can press your lips together, although it does feel kind of sticky, so you don't want to do it too much, but it's not removing itself from the top or bottom lip as you do it, which is kind of like my experience with some of the other liquid lipsticks from the past. So this is a good sign. All right, looks like we are fully set. Let's do the tissue test. Well, it's kind of sticking to my lips, but guess what? It's not really transferring. There's just like a teensy tiny bit of transfer and only because I just freshly applied it on. But if you let it set for a good like 10 minutes and try not to like mess with your mouth too much, chances are it will set solid and it won't transfer on your mask. So that's really great. It's just a very wholesome shade. It makes me feel like I'm gonna get that job interview, you know? I'm just gonna swatch two more for today because my lips are already starting to burn a little. Okay, next up we have Cupcake Lip Liner. Looks like a flat matte pink. Kinda reminds me of Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk, but just a pinch pinker. My lips are naturally pink, so this is a really good match for my lips. Just a tad pinker, like I said. This is fresh and rosy, I do like this shade. This is something I would just pop on if I just wanna look a little bit more put together. Even with no makeup, this would be a great color to use for someone like myself, whose lips are already pink, to just like outline or make them look a little bit plumper. And the sixth liquid lip that I'm testing out is called Be Brave. Looks like a decent match to the lip liner. This looks very pretty. Just like a cooler, muted, pinky nude. Definitely good for the medium skin tone range, I would say. Really pretty everyday color. I really like the way that it looks on me. Although I wasn't initially drawn to this middle range, I thought it was just too pinky. These are the first few colors that I can wear without a lip liner, so I'm kind of drawn to that. And I also think they're really flattering. I personally really like cooler shades on my warmer skin tone because of the pop, of the contrast that it creates. Whereas if I wear a nude lip with a warm undertone, it has to be the perfect shade in order not to look like I have no mouth or I have to pair it with a darker lip liner like I was mentioning before. But this shade is definitely not one of those. Just like so sweet and so girly. Makes me wanna smell flowers and have a picnic. <laughs> Caramel Latte is the next lip liner I'm going to test out. Is that shimmery again? Huh. Looks like a neutral shade, medium range, not shimmery, thank God. Cute color on its own. Definitely neutral, leaning a little bit cool. And the liquid lip that I'm gonna be trying out with this liner is called Truth. And this one actually feels a little bit creamier than the other liquid lipsticks, which feel more liquidy. You can see it applying on a little differently. So I don't know if it's just me and my batch here. So now this looks like a nude on me. This is kind of like a neutral nude. It's not too warm, it's not too cool. It's kind of in the middle. I like how it pairs with caramel latte, but I kind of want to test it with a little bit of that butter pecan on top. And I think I like it a little bit better with butter pecan. This color in particular feels drier than the rest. And as I mentioned, the formula feels thicker. So it's feeling just a smidge tight on my lips, just a smidge constricting, you know? Not a deal breaker, not a huge deal at all, but I thought I'd mention it. I did notice that there was a slight discrepancy between the rest of the formulations and just this specific color, but I do like the way that it looks on me. So far, I will say Confidence is probably my favorite shade, and I could probably use the second lightest shade, which was Get Real. Actually, it wasn't the second lightest, it was just the second shade that I swatched, but I would need to wear a darker lip liner to make it work for me. But overall, those are like the two that I'm gravitating towards. Of course, I'm gonna have to watch this video back and give you my final thoughts after I watch them on myself, on camera, and then I'll tell you which ones I actually like. <laughs> 
in terms of how they look on me. But so far, those are just my first impressions. At this point, I'm going to cut this film and I will be back tomorrow with the rest of the swatches because like I said, I don't want my lips to fall off. All right, time warp your music, why not? And the morning after, I'm wearing the same makeup for the most part, different eyes, but also a white shirt just to keep the lighting and the atmosphere the same. My lips are a lot drier today than they were yesterday. I'm definitely feeling that tightness. I'm definitely feeling that crackling on my lips, but that's okay. No one should be doing this, only those of us who are actually trying out every single color. But in reality, no one should be doing this. So don't do it. Don't try this at home. Next liner that I'm going to try, and the first one for today, is going to be Bourbon. It's kind of like a pretty matte neutral nudie. And the next liquid lip is Krabby. All right. So now we are getting into that very peachy category where I saw a lot of rosy tones, a lot of non-nude tones, just more on the neutral peachy pink vibes. Okay, here's bourbon, definitely a cute color. Not necessarily the shade for crabby, but we're gonna go with it anyway. Ooh. So initially I didn't think this was gonna be a shade that I like, but looking at myself and my reflection, I really like the way that it looks on me. There's just a quiet sophistication about this shade that I really like. I think it's matching really nicely with my blush and with my bronzer. I'm wearing the something toffee bronzer from the Jaclyn Cosmetics bronzer and blush duo. And of course the matching blush. I can't remember the name of it, but I will pop it up right here. I don't know, I just love the way that this lip is playing with the eye. Cause I know the eye is very modern today, but the lip feels very, very classic. And it's also very flattering on my skin tone. I love it. Ooh, ah, I like you. I'm gonna write you down. I'm jotting down all my favorites. Cause I am gonna do a reels or a TikTok at the end of this. Just combining all of my favorite lipsticks in one. Cause right now I can't really tell which one I'm really leaning towards. I know that I'm liking some shades more than others. Some just look better on me and my skin tone, but I actually want to compile at least seven shades of my favorites. But damn, this crabby is really pretty. I don't want to remove it. I'm actually gonna go back to the same shade bourbon. Cause it just has like a nice Nice neutral kind of undertone for the next lip color. And the next pout spoken liquid lip is Mama. Now Mama is a shade that was inspired by the original Mom from Jaclyn's original lipstick launch from a couple of years ago. This is what this shade looks like. Now to me, this is pink. This is very pink. It's not a nude, it's not a neutral, it's a literal pink. Not a color that I gravitate towards like ever, but I have a stinking suspicion that it will look really good on me. Let's see. Well, perhaps not as good as I thought, but it definitely works for my skin tone. I'm gonna use a little bit of bourbon to darken the edges. And also, by the way, you don't have to apply these liquid lipsticks so close to your lip line or past the lip line, like I'm doing in my case. You could actually just dab it to the center and then just pat it out with a lip brush or with your finger for a much more muted effect. I just really wanna swatch the colors and apply them as saturated as possible so that you can clearly see what this color looks like on a skin tone. But in actuality, if I were to wear a color like this, I would probably just dab it to the center and really just diffuse it out with another lip liner, say perhaps Cupcake, which is just a slightly warmer version of this pink. And that way it will just look a little bit more uniform on me. I don't know, to me, this color is just mm, not as good as I expected it to look on me. It just doesn't give me like the modern vibes that I am personally going for, but I definitely think it's a color that a lot of people will like. Generally speaking, I don't really wear pink lipsticks much unless it's like a super vibrant, like Nars Kiap type of pink lipstick. Outside of like a <laughs> Maybelline baby lips chapstick, I'm not really into the pinks too much. Pink is actually my second favorite color after yellow. I don't really like it in my makeup. All right, here we go. Next shade, Praline Lip Liner. Boom. I like praline and shade outspoken liquid lip. Outspoken, I would say, is kind of similar to crabby, but just a pinch rosier, but also not necessarily a nude. Really, really pretty, understated, but sophisticated. Very similar to crabby, but just pinch of pink in it. So a little bit more neutral, not as warm, still very, very flattering. I think this is something that would probably work for a lot of different skin tones with the exception of probably the deeper skin tones, but we haven't really gotten to that range just yet. I feel like we're still kind of covering the lighter skin and the medium skin spectrum. I like the shade. 
Makes me feel like an A plus student. Which by the way, I was not. I barely graduated high school with a 66 average. Then I went to a community college for two years to kind of up my grade point average. And then once I got to my four year school, I maintained a 4.0. How am I both of those girls? I don't know. Okay, correction. I actually did graduate with like a 3.95 though. I couldn't maintain the 4.0 for all four years, but I did it. We've got three lip liners left and five liquid lipsticks. So I'm gonna try to disperse them evenly. Next one we have is hot tea lip liner okay so this shade hot tea also has some silver sparkles i don't really get why do we have silver sparkles in a very tan lip liner i'm not really getting that but it is very subtle so i guess i'm just gonna let it slide i'm a cancer is next and this is actually the first shade that i tried from all of the liquid lipsticks i wore it in my insta stories the other day and it looks so gorgeous so this is definitely a fave i already know this is a fave all right so I'm a Cancer, I would say, is probably the type of nude that I like to lean towards. It's just a little bit, excuse me. Okay, men working. Listen, I'm not complaining about them working, but they were supposed to start at 9 a.m. and finish at 12. Guess what, they started at noon. And now I have to wait for them? Okay, thank you. So yeah, so I'm a Cancer is the type of nude that I would typically lean towards. Like this is getting into my category of nude shades that I like. They're just a pinch darker than my skin tone. They look like I have lips on my face. You know, they give me just a little bit of color and that modern glam that I look for. So I really, really, really love this shade. I think it's super flattering on anyone who's like a medium complexion like me or even a little bit more tan to caramel. But keep in mind, this is the fifth lipstick from the back. So we don't have very many left. And this is the first one that I would say is fitting for my skin tone category. I'm a cancer. Truth be told, I don't know very many cancers outside of Jacqueline and my close friend D. But I'm a Libra, so I don't know. Do Libras attract cancers? One thing for sure is that I know a lot of Aquarians. I also know a lot of Scorpios. Half my best friends are Scorpios and the other half are Aquariuses. <laughs> But I really love Leos. Leos are like my favorite people. My brother and sister are Leos. But honestly, I don't really know much about astrology. I don't really like tend to go by it too much either. Next up, we have absolutely liquid lip. I'm gonna pair it with the same hot tea. Absolutely. Ooh, this is cute. I like this one. It's different. This one is a pinch lighter than the I'm a Cancer. I'm gonna actually swatch them side by side. Here's I'm a Cancer. Here's Absolutely. Absolutely is a little bit more orange too. A bit lighter, a bit warmer. I like the way that it looks on me. Definitely very nudie on me because I have a very golden undertone. And I gotta say, I quite like. All right, let's remove. Three shades left. We've got Toasty Lip Liner, basically a brown. Nice shade. It kind of reminds me of Spice by MAC. For my next liquid lip, I'll be swatching Gratitude, which looks like a really good match to the Toasty Lip Liner. I love the shade. I love it on me, and I think this would look great on someone who's of a tanner complexion than I am. So say like a caramel skin tone, or like someone who's a very dark olive, this would just look amazing, I think. But I also love it on me. Basically anyone who's lighter than a dark olive or a caramel complexion can also pull this off. But specifically, I think this would be a really nice nude on dark olive or caramel. I do love the shade a lot. There's just effortless glam about this shade. I love it. I don't want to remove it. Ooh, lips are hot. All right, I'm gonna go back to toasty lip liner. Just line my lips real quick for the next shade. Voila. Next up, we have Be Bold. Now, Be Bold would be a great nude for brown skin tones, just by the looks of it. Haven't swatched it yet, but let's see. Gorgeous, gorgeous shade with just that hint of red undertone. On me, it looks like milk chocolate, and I love the way that it looks. It's just a stunning color that I would totally wear during the day or at night. Okay, before I remove this one, I just wanted to show you a swatch of Be Bold on my hand, as well as the final liquid lipstick shade, which is called Feisty, and the final lip liner, which is called Bold Brew. All right, time for the final swatches of Bold Brew and Feisty. Here's Bold Brew. And here comes Feisty, the final shade. Ooh. 
This looks like liquid chocolate. And by chocolate, I mean dark chocolate. Ooh, I love the way this looks. It is so striking. Such a gorgeous striking color. I almost don't want it to set because I love the way that it looks when it's wet. Just like freshly out of the tube. I would love a gloss this color. This is stunning. Stunning, stunning color. Obviously someone like myself or anyone who's lighter than me can wear this as a brown color. But if you are a deeper skin tone, this would probably be a good nude for you. Although I do have to mention that there's really only two options for the deeper skin tones. And that would be the last two colors that I swatched, which is Be Bold and also Feisty. And of course it will only work for you if you actually like the undertone and if it's flattering for your skin's undertone. For me, I would say this is not leaning too red or too cool. It's like a good neutral brown. Whereas the previous shade, Be Bold, is a little bit more red leaning. But I gotta call it out and I gotta say it like it is. There definitely is not enough options for the deeper skin tones in this liquid lipstick shade range. Certainly you can make these other colors work with different lip liners, with some of the deeper lip liners. But I would have liked to have seen more options for various skin tones. The way that it stands right now, just looking at the liquid lipstick options, it seems like there's a lot more wearable options for light skin tones than there are for medium tan and definitely more options for those than there are for the deep skin tones. But having said that, there is at least one option for every skin tone category for the fair, for the light, for the medium, for the tan, and for the deep. I will say the fair and the light definitely have more than one option. There's more like 15 options, but someone like myself, I could probably wear at least half of these shades comfortably without a lip liner. And with a lip liner, I could probably make almost all of them work with the exception of the lightest one, which even that I could probably use like on the center of my bottom lip just to like give myself a little bit more of a pouty look or like an ombre effect. So definitely I could put all of these to use. But I think the deeper that your skin tone gets, the less options you will have available for you when it comes to this range of Jaclyn Cosmetics Pout Spoken Liquid Lipsticks. I will say, I think the quality of these lipsticks is really, really good with the exception of that one shade that swatched a little bit creamier than the rest. I don't remember which one it was off the top of my head, but I will pop up the name right here. Outside of that, I think these feel really comfortable on the lips. They're not super drying. And considering how many swatches I've conducted in the past 24 hours and my lips are still intact, they're not falling off. That's saying a lot. Granted, I did use my little lip balm in between swatches and I was very careful in the way that I remove them using oil and things like that. I'm okay. Don't worry about me. Overall, I think this is a really good launch for Jaclyn Cosmetics and for Jaclyn Hill. I think the fact that Jaclyn was able to persevere and rise above her bad lipstick launch from a couple of years ago. She didn't allow this cancel culture to get to her. She didn't allow it to tear her apart. She rose and she created a collection that she can stand by and it is really good quality from what I can tell thus far. I'm really excited to be using some of these colors and to test them out further and to just continue wearing them. So kudos to her for that. Honestly, I look at that as something that is very inspiring and very motivating to someone like myself. So for that, I give her all the accolades that she deserves. Can she still learn from this launch? Is she still developing her brand? Absolutely. Do I expect great things out of this brand? Yes, I do. And so I'm really eager to see what she comes out with next. Hopefully there will be more shades in this pout spoken liquid lip collection. I would like to see 30 shades. I would like to see 40 shades. I would like to see other colors, not just nudes, maybe some more rosy tones or some more corals, maybe some reds, who knows? Those are my final thoughts and I am sticking to them. Thank you guys so much for watching and for subscribing. Subscribe if you aren't already because I did swatch all 15 liquid lipsticks and all 12 of those lip liners for you. Yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. I love you so much. Mwah! Check out my other videos right here. Click on them. You got anything better to do? Do it.